Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Behringer X32 set up with a Wi Fi connection to connect with the Mix app on your tablet, in my case, an iPad. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the X32 has one network port on the back of the console labeled remote control. And this is where you want to take a normal Cat5, Cat5e, Cat6, it doesn't really matter, Ethernet cable and plug it in. It does not need to be a shielded connection like the AES50 connections, but it just has to be a normal network cable. So what we can do is we can take this and plug this into the back of the console. Now, once we've done that, we want to plug the other end of this cable into a Wi-Fi router. Now, you can take any Wi-Fi router and use it with the Behringer X32. In my case, I actually just picked up this little guy uh, for a travel router. It's called the GLI Net, and I got this off of Amazon. This is specifically the AC1300 um, or the... GLA1300 is another model number you can find it on. But this thing is awesome because it has two little Wi-Fi antennas that pop up here, and it has two LAN ports and a WAN port on the back of it. You can actually configure the WAN port to be a LAN connection. And then the other really cool thing is it has this USB 3.0 spot here, and you can actually plug your iPhone or a cell phone and tether internet to this. So then any devices that you connect to your wireless internet here would have have Wi-Fi. So if you're on the job somewhere and don't have access to internet, you can plug in your phone. This is also USB-C powered, which is awesome. So I've had a lot of great success with this little guy, but all we have to do is we need, just need to take this and plug it into a LAN connection. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and apply power to the router and get it all set. Now, while that is booting up for my wireless router, the next thing that we want to do is we want to grab our iPad or tablet and download the Midas M32 Mix app. Now, I guess you're wondering why am I downloading the Midas app when it's an X32? Well, that's because music has decided to continue support of the M32 app, but hasn't been updating the X32 app. So if you do have an X32 or if you have an M32, download the M32 Mix app from Music on the App Store. Once we have downloaded the app, we can go to our settings and go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network that you have set up. In this case, I have my DB5 gigahertz. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that, and then I'm going to navigate to my M32 app. So I now have my M32 Mix app on my iPad, and it's connected to my router. Now, my router, the benefit of a router is the router is going to assign what are called DHCP IP addresses. So we have the ability on the Behringer X32 to talk to a router and request an IP address. Now, if you're using a standard switch without the Wi-Fi portion and without the router portion, then you would have to be assigning the IP addresses manually. And I do have a Wi-Fi setup tutorial on my website at drewbrashler.com that I have linked down in the description. So if you want to read a little bit more into the IP address setting, subnet, all of that type of stuff, you can go to my blog and read more about that. But in this case, we are doing an easy setup with the DHCP portion. So on the Behringer X32, the next thing that we want to do is configure it to receive DHCP. So let's go to the setup button, and then we're going to tab all the way over to network. Once we get here, we can see that I have manual IP addresses assigned here, and that's because DHCP right down here is not lit orange. All we have to do to assign this to accept DHCP is press our first rotary knob. And then it is going to ask my wireless router that I have for an IP address. And so it's going to go through here in a second and assign an IP address to the console. And so like that, we can now see my IP address that the Wi-Fi router gave to me is 10.0.0.97 with the subnet mask of 255, 255, 255.0. And we can also see that my gateway is 10.0.0.1. Now, the other thing that we can see here is our MAC address. Now, if you do happen to have an IT person on staff at your church or venue, 
give them this MAC address to them because they can take this MAC address and assign it with an IP address and it will always do that same IP address, which would be beneficial for you to do if you're wanting to have your iPad always connect to the same console. Now, if you don't do this, sometimes your wireless router might assign a different IP address to your console, in which case you will need to go to your setup and find what your IP address is of your console. So now that we have this 10.0.0.97, we're going to go ahead and write that down, but we're going to go over to our iPad and we're going to input this into the app. Now, if you turn on the app, the first thing that will show up was the screen, but I happened to tap the iPad and it disappeared. So what we need to do is we need to press the little I up here, and that will give us the ability to go enter in the IP address of this console so we can link these two. So I am going to go and tap into right here, and it says 10.0.0.125. So the last time I used this was with a 125 as the last number on the IP address, but we can notice that this is 97. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply delete 125 and put in 97. So I can see that my IP address of this console is now entered in here, so 10.0.0.97. So I can press return, hide the keyboard, and we can press connect. And now I have this connected to this console, and I can see that because there is a green little icon right here underneath the M32. Now, if I was to take a fader and move it up and down, we would notice that it is moving on the console here. Now, we can do everything that we can on the console via the app. We can do everything on the console and see it on the app which is really cool. So we can actually see uh, metering on here. It's a slightly delayed, but that's okay. But we can also go into detail on any of the channels and adjust anything that we want to with our iPad. Now, the really beneficial thing of being able to mix off of an iPad is to be able to take this out into your room and listen to it where the audience is sitting. Now, a lot of times, I see this all the time where the sound booth is like upstairs on the balcony, tucked over in a back corner or sometimes in a closet, which is terrible. But the iPad and this network connection will allow you to take this iPad out into the room and actually go and listen critically in the audience area to your mix. And then you can make wiser mix decisions as you're mixing. Now, in the same way that we set up our iPad, we can also set up phones to do the monitor mixing on the console. So if you're wanting to let one of your musicians take a phone up on stage and do their mixing of one of the mix buses, you can give them access to this network as well. So all you would have them do is connect to your network and do please make sure that this network is password protected because you wouldn't want to have the show ruined by someone accidentally logging into your network and starting to adjust things. So in the same way that we did on the iPad, we can go ahead and type in the IP address of 10.0.0.97, which I have found in our network settings on the X32. Once we have done that, we can just go ahead and set, press connect. And so now we have seen that we have info of an X32 with Behringer's 4.6 version software. And so we can now see that this has green here for the connection and we can press done. And so now what we can do is we can actually adjust our monitor mix. And so if we go to our bus one here, we can go ahead and raise up and adjust everything in this mix bus. So that's as simple as it is to get a Wi-Fi setup using a router and an X32 connected to our tablet or our phone for letting our musicians mix their ears. Again, please make sure that this is a secure network and that you have a good password set on it. And don't do something like audio console as the Wi-Fi name. Make it a little bit more obscure so that people aren't going to go and try and hack into the network. If you do happen to want to dive in more into the networking side of the X32, go check out my blog article that I have at drewbrashler.com. And again, it's linked in the description down below. But there's a little bit more in-depth information on that article for you. If you do happen to have any questions or if you have a video that you want me to make for you in the future, please put that in the comment section below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. 
Also, if this video is helpful for you, consider becoming a member of my channel as just a way to say thank you and help support me and this channel that I have going for you. As always, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.